March the 29th. Bond, Miss Thomas, is there a reason why you can't sit up and take your whole, and so we could just see your whole thing? Is there a reason why you can't do that? <laughs> I, I can't hear you. You're muted, but it's very distracting. It's very distracting when you put your whole face and eyes up to the camera. If you could please sit up straight for me. Can, can you unmute and tell me why you can't sit up straight? Because it's this is this is. Should I stand up? This is my first time, so I don't know how to. I don't know how to work it. So, am I doing correct now? No, ma'am. You sitting right up to the can? Can you? I mean, do you see how the rest of us are sitting up straight? Holy smokes! That was too close. Do you see uh, how we're sitting up straight, and you can see half of our upper body? Can you see me now? Yes, ma'am. I have to stand. I don't know how to work this. Miss okay. Thomas indicated she'll be coming in person in the future. She should come in person because it's, she keeps saying she keep owning that she don't know how to work it. It's nothing to work. It's it's easy. It's just you just put your the device down and you just stand in front of the camera. Nonetheless, okay, ma'am, just ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I, I need you to stabilize your device. Okay, let, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Number one, she keeps talking. That's number one. She keeps talking. Number two, she's back right up on it. But that's let's let's just move. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So discovery should be submitted by March 29th. And then Mr. Amori, with respect to the April the 29th court date, sir, you're not required to appear. You've appeared today, therefore, you're not required to appear on that day. However, if you want to come, you may, because you may appear at all of the scheduled court appearances. If you don't appear, then you can find out from the prosecutor's office when the next court date is and whether your appearance is required. OK. That's good. All right. Um, anything further with respect to this matter? Not from the people. Oh, Judge, um, it was case number in there, 784 and 793. I think the court was saying another case number, but. I just oh, what was I saying? 747? 747, yeah. Why did I say that? Wait a minute. Seven. Miss Thomas. Okay, no, I'm I'm correct. So what what case numbers are you using? Miss Miss Thomas has case number two, three, four, five, seven. I'm sorry, case number two, three, four, five, seven, nine, three, zero, one. Oh, I keep saying. Oh, you're right. It's 793. I'm saying, I was saying, yeah, okay, 793. You're right, Ms. Ritter, for a change. <laughs> All right. So good. every place I said 747, I meant 793. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And then 784, yes. Okay. Um. All right, then we're all set. Everyone have a great day and stay safe. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Which, um, that one I'm going through discovery. I, I have got the discovery. How much time do you need? Just next okay. reset. Next resetting. A good. Get a resetting. Andrew Kennedy. Mr. Reynolds. Andrew Kennedy. I talked to Mr. Hawkeye this morning. You're not ready in 20 days? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're still waiting on some time. Uh, Medical records. I overheard that conversation. It's accurate. Yeah, no, we just put it on review for the next announcement. All right. Yeah, it'll be reset one more time, and then we'll see where we are in that. And then the King Harrison. So, again, in our court, we've got uh, Rogelio Martinez, one, and Rogel, two. Right, Marvin? And the interpreter will be here at one o'clock. Two cases for now called. We have
The oldest one is 13-15948 and 21-37223, the state of Texas versus Trevor Cooper. That's you, Mr. Cooper. There are motions to revoke probation in each of these cases. I kind of thought I'd never see you again in this courtroom. I was kind of hoping that would be the case yes, because sir. I think the court stuck its neck out way long and far on your cases. Sir. So I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I'm disappointed myself. Okay. Sir. Everybody has a free choice in decisions and no one knows more clearly how serious all of this was and what the clear correct choice was versus the wrong choice oh. all right there are motions to revoke probation in each of these cases does the defendant waive formal readings of these can we proceed in summary yes sir. In summary, and take these up together. Yes, sir. In summary, uh, 15948 states that on November, and raise your right hand, do solemnly swear or affirm all statements you make during this hearing shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. oh. In 15948, uh, in summary, this motion states that on or about or on November 12, 2013, you were sentenced to five years in prison, probated for 10 years for operating a motor vehicle in a public place while intoxicated, a third degree felony. Is all of that true? Yes, sir. We've got one, two, and three, the assault family violence. What about that? That's been refused. We can proceed only on count number two. He's saying we, Your Honor, that's his choice, that's not our choice. It's I'm trying to look at that right now. The complainant in that case, is she here? Uh, is she here? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Is that who you were waving and blowing a kiss to? No, my mother. Oh, it was your mom? Okay. Yes. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Can you talk to them, I, Your Honor, this is Mr. Laird's case. Um, well, uh, so, so I have knows. a sir. Any notes on that? Um, I can tell you what, what I would typically do in this scenario. It does not make a difference to me that we would refuse the case. I would okay, prefer the case was refused. I would pre prefer to have it set and have an opportunity to bring that person in to talk to him and prep them for a hearing. Well, it's all about the motion to revoke probation, right? Yeah. Yes, sir, it is. Okay. I think there's enough here. We 
this court is very familiar with Mr. Cooper and Mr. Cooper knew what his destiny would be if the circumstances <laughs> fell into place. And here he is, and I've read the probable cause affidavit. As to the there he is, family violence and, charge? Well, and public intoxication. This is the report. No, I mean, standing on, on, that, Judge. on my probation, you're out there at midnight, standing on the roof, blazing cane, standing on top of the roof at a, at a function where people are trying to prevent you from getting in the car and driving off when they said you were intoxicated on my watch. Yeah, that's what I read. Okay, just wanted to make sure. And if you've got that information, Judge, I'm fine with you. Looks like the same allegations in each case, correct? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, well, let's take them up again together. Uh, and in, I think I've dealt with 1315948 about the uh, precatory matters when the defendant was placed on probation and for what length of time. And in 21-37-223, in this motion to revoke probation, it alleges that on October 29th, 2021, <clears throat> which was about eight years later than the previous case, uh, you were sentenced to two years in the state jail. That was suspended. You were placed on regular probation of for uh, illegal possession of methamphetamine uh, drugs. Is all of that true? Yes, sir. In each of these motions to revoke probation, allegation two states that you committed the offense of driving while intoxicated, third degree felony because of two or more prior DWIs on or about September 20th, 23 in Orange County, Texas, in violation of condition one of your probation order in each case. Is that true? Yes, sir. And three, you violated your probation orders in each case. It states by number three in each of the motions that you failed to never become intoxicated or under the influence of an intoxicating substance in that on or about September 20th, 23 and September 25th, uh, 2023, you were intoxicated. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you pleading true to allegations two and three in each of these motions? Yes, sir. Voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently, and because those are true as they are alleged. Yes, sir. Do you understand by a voluntary and knowing plea of truth in each case, that would be enough to grant these motions to revoke probation. Your probations can now be revoked and you can be sentenced no less than two, no more than five years in prison in yes. 15948 and no less than 180 days up to two years in the state jail in 37223. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Knowing that you insist on pleading truth in each of these cases to these allegations of violations of most in your probation uh, orders based upon these motions to revoke probation in each case. All right, I find you were pleading true in each of these cases to allegations two and three in these motions to revoke probation voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently, and because all of that is true. There is no agreement? Okay. No agreement. Go ahead. We are obviously the next problem is, is alcohol. Yes, we are. Uh, he has uh, advised me that he's... Well, there's a methamphetamine in there, is it? 
he's advised me that he has uh, tried very, very hard to uh, to lick this uh, this addiction, alcohol, and of course the drug situation as well. Uh, to his credit, uh, we're looking that he's been on probation nearly the entire ten years. He was placed on uh, like two months short of ten years. Uh, he's placed on probation in the DWI case. Uh, he has also advised me that he has completed programs in alcohol rehab and feels like that he is making progress in trying to resolve those issues. Uh, he understands that the court has, uh, has gone the extra mile for him more than one case. Here, here look, look at this. Look at all of them. Those are second chances. Nobody gets those that many. Anyway, uh, at this point in time, he, you know, he's doing the ankle monitor, he's doing the drug patch, the alcohol patch, everything that, that would benefit him uh, in trying to resolve this problem. And we just feel like that if you revoke him and send him to prison, that that's not going to really solve anything. It's just going to lock him up for a little bit longer and then he'll be back, poss possibly. Uh, subject to the same problems again uh you know he feels like that he can continue his his alcohol uh, rehab programs that he's been working on and the court can continue the monitoring uh, with, with all the monitoring devices that are available through probation office and uh, that's the best chance of, of rehabilitating you know i pretty well said that correct right. um, pretty much completed everything that's been thrown at me for sure i have you have failed. Yes, sir. And over. Yes, sir. And over. And over. I, I can't really think of someone on probation that I've in 17 years up here that I gave this many second chances. To. The problem is, is that it's you and a it's you and a four thousand pound missile and intoxication really you need to sit in here during a trial and listen to the wailing and the weeping of people who innocent people who were following the rules and who were killed in traffic accidents by people who were intoxicated but we've been pressed on you oh i've been pressed on you i made personal pleadings to to get your act straight over and over and over again and i think i last time told you i don't want to see it back here at all because it would be severe in the right circumstances and you came back with the same set of circumstances same i mean yeah we've had you on probation and since 2013 and Here you are. Uh, please go out at a call at between midnight and 1 a.m. And there you are standing on the roof of the residence. Wouldn't comply with the officers. Apparently, you had gotten into a physical. The assault according to the complainant the complainant said this to the police i know they they're in a bad spot because they don't want to see things happen to you but they they're, they're torn between trying to figure out how you're going to save your own life because it's just a road to disaster that you've been driving toward since 2013 and try to save themselves from being assaulted and according to the complaint uh, the com this complaint you grabbed the lady by the throat and threw her to the ground pushed her into a vacuum 
times. And she was the one who called police. Now, she's not the first person who comes in here because they, they've been assaulted and by someone they care about very much and then ask for those charges not to be pursued. But at the time when they were fighting for their life, they certainly needed help. But you're on my watch and I'm going to show you again. Look at all the second chances I gave you. Nobody got all these. Nobody. Nobody in 17 years. Uh, next time, came on me for not being more firm with you. Because someone, yourself, and or others were going to get hurt. What's they saying? Judge, I, can't, I, I, I wasn't here whenever this happened uh, with that last charge, but I, I can I can hear you telling him exactly what you told him here just a few moments ago. When you agreed, when you when you made the decision that it was the right thing for us to dismiss the motion to revoke probation that he had in 21 and give him an opportunity to have two probation. And that's when he picked up that possession of controlled substance. Yeah. I guarantee that you told him, I don't want to see you again. Yeah. I, oh, and I, I know that, that more than off more than once. And you promised I would when I, see in this arena. When I reviewed this defendant's history, he's had, you know, even though Mr. Diesler said he's been on probation for almost 10 years, it's not been without hiccups. There's, according to the administrative hearings, he, we've given him more chances than what indicates on your file. Uh, I have to agree with Mr. Laird that uh, the proper recommendation is five years TDC for the DWI and one year state jail on the offense. If the court is not inclined to do that, to me, the only thing that has not been done on his probation is safety. Uh, and and for the life of me, I can't understand looking back through the history with the different things that he admitted about his alcohol and drug use in the past that, that it hasn't been done before. Because this, what it looks to me like, is a serious relapse. He's never going to win this battle unless we do something extreme. Right, anything you want to say? I mean, I've proven that I can I can do it. You said you're clean. I have. You haven't. You're you're back. Yes, sir. You you don't stay clean for long. You got it's it's a forever thing. Yes, sir. Or at least well, on probation, but for your own well being and your family's well being, it's forever. <laughs> and they've struggled with your actions. The probation officer reminds me, Judge, that if you do head that direction towards safe papers, if you go that route. Um, he will not initially qualify because he's got the pending charge out of orange. <clears throat> they would have to get in line in that regard. I just want to plant that seed with the court as well. Anything else? No, sir. That, uh, he, he's correct that the DWI and orange is still pending. So he was all. All right. If nothing further, I'm, uh, then I'm going to find that there is sufficient evidence supporting these motions to revoke probation in each of these cases. To grant them by a preponderance of the evidence or greater as allegations two and three have been proven true in each case. Your probations, Mr. Cooper, are hereby revoked. And I'm going to follow the recommendation made by the state. You are hereby sentenced to five years in prison in 15948 and one year in the state jail in 37223. These sentences shall run concurrent, not consecutive, but concurrently. You will be given credit for all time you have served in accordance with these uh, cases. And um, it's all about your decision, uh, a product of decisions. And you can make your own decision from here on, too, of right to wrong, good or bad, what we all make every day. But you have been consistently making choices that were 
harmful and wrong in spite of the fact that we have pleaded with you clearly and you had even made statements yes i know what's right and wrong i'm not going to do the wrong thing we've been more than fed and you've had opportunities that few if any here have had to fix your choice made so you have to pay Yes, sir. These consequences, and uh, I regret for everyone I know involved in this that uh, this happened here. But that's what's just and right under these circumstances. Yes, sir. Uh, that is all. Desmond Harper. Don. He's also in custody. Desmond, what were we doing? I have a motion to for all on you. Should, Why? should be attached to the file. Uh, we are having problems with communication, and he has made a uh, threat to me, family, and presents a conflict of interest. And that's it.